Hello traders, this is Fawad Razak Zala, Market Analyst for City Index. Today is the 29th of September, 2023. I'm here to give you a quick market update. And as you can see, the markets are on the rise today. Uh, look at the S&P 500. It is um, up for the third consecutive day. And this is because we have seen a move down in bond yields. Bond yields had been in a strong bullish trend in, in the last several weeks. And that was one of the main reasons why stock markets in particular were struggling. Looking ahead to the new week, uh, a new month and a quarter, uh, we will have some uh, very important economic uh, indicators to look forward to. So uh, from the US, we will have ISM services and manufacturing PMIs, which will be very important because they're forward-looking indicators. We have a, a rate decision from the Reserve Bank of Australia. No uh, rate change is expected. Uh, RBNZ is also making a rate decision. Again, no changes are expected there. Uh, the ISM services PMI and ADP will be released on Thursday, on Wednesday rather. And then the big one is the jobs reports from the US. So lots to look forward to for next week then. But the key question is, will yields rise again uh, after its recent dip? And if they do, then that could pressure the markets once again and um, lead to another sell-off. Now, the S&P 500 is testing a key area of resistance here, uh, as you can see by the shaded region, which was previously support at around 4330, 4335, that kind of area, uh, previous support. If it uh, starts to roll over from here, then watch out for another drop. On the euro dollar, um, we are looking at this key area of resistance, which has held firm so far, as I uh, reported earlier in my euro dollar piece price is holding resistance where it should have uh, so that will be the key area to watch uh, heading into the weekend and next week now for more analysis make sure to check out the news and analysis section at cityindex.com have a lovely weekend take care